G'day guys, right here, your coffee coach, and I'm in the place where they invent all of the best accessories for coffee and distribute them around the world on the Gold Coast in Queensland at Dolo Enterprises, the home of Passato 58.5. And I'm about to meet Andrea, who's the brains behind that. He's gonna show us some of the new innovations that he's coming out with that he's taking to you. If you live in the US, the Specialty Coffee Expo in Portland is coming on the 19th of what month are we in April <laughs> Andrea is bringing to the US this week in Portland the specialty coffee expo so if you're around jump over there check out these innovations because they are super exciting if you're really into your coffee and you want to take it to the next level then you cannot miss this guy he is great jump onto the website Posado and check out some of his precision of coffee equipment we're going to talk to him and we're going to showcase some of the new stuff so let's get to it G'day guys, right here, your coffee coach. I'm here with Andrea from Passato 58.5, the genius behind the brand. I mean, this guy is constantly creating. I met him down in Mice, so you'll remember the video, and if you want to check that out, you can check it out here. But we're here today to talk about some of the prototypes for the very latest innovations that he's got. So I'll hand it over to you, Andrea. Take us through all of the fantastic new products you've got and where you're going with this now. Okay, well, um, where are we going? <laughs> question. To Portland in SEA this Portland. week, we where you're going, to, uh, this is where you're officially launching it? We're launching the basket there. Yeah. So, hybrid has been launched. Yeah. Okay, I think we've done a pre sale with it. I think we're going to go to market like real soon. So, we're good to go with hybrid. Show you what we've done here, which is the hybrid porta filter. So, what is an hybrid porta filter? We have been selling a lot of bottomless, a lot of bottomless, like many, many, many. And I'm a big fan of bottomless, like pretty much that's all I use. But it, sometimes you do need to make a double, you know? Mm -hmm. And then we always had a thing where, you know, people then come back and they buy a double. Yeah. Or they buy a double, then they buy a bottomless. But it's kind of becoming a bit of an expensive exercise, you know what I mean? So we've been thinking of for a while on how to make something that would be cheap and efficient for people to have a bottomless. And then when someone comes, they want to split a shot. Or if it's afternoon, yeah. you don't want to have another double shot. Well, there you go, we've done it. So what happens here is you've got a bottom plate that screws in there with our spout system. So what you do, you lock in your spouting position and then you just line up the bottom into your bottomless and then you just start screwing it in. You gotta make sure that obviously it's lined up straight so that the thread doesn't catch. And then, well, there you go, you've got a double. Yeah. Okay, so simple, clean. It took us a while to kind of think on how to do it and to make it fit. We also have a different option for the Breville users. So we've got 53 mil and 53 uh, mil right. Breville. Perfect. So we made one for the Breville as well because this is more directed to the domestic mm, market. Yeah. So this stuff, obviously you can use it in your, in your commercial coffee shop, but usually if you've got a commercial coffee shop, buying another handle is not a deal breaker. You know what I mean? So yeah. you buy another handle. Yeah, that's it. But for home, also for the space, you know what I mean? Yeah. Where you're gonna pull and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, this is the hybrid. We're very happy with it. It's, it's online, I think, now and ready for sale and yeah, bring it on. I love this because especially in my cafe, these would be perfect. We are constantly doing double shots, but every now and then you have your small eight ounce, six ounce that want a single shot, mm. you split it. To have, you know, a naked porta filter on standby when, you know, it, it's not hot, so you don't want to just like switch out a cold porta filter. Totally. Having this and just changing it from a spouted porta filter into a naked like that, I think this is brilliant and I've only seen one other place do this but this is even better than anything I've seen ever before so I'm really it's excited to get trouble. my hands that, on that, this. That thread is like undestructible. Yeah. You, know I mean? like, so, yeah. you buy once and it lasts you five coffee machines. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next. Um, I don't know if you had to play with this, okay? This is our TPD, okay? So what is a TPD? TPD is a temperature and pressure device, okay? What does this do? It allows you to measure what is happening when you're brewing a coffee, what's happening in there. You've got a sensor in here which is um, already preset and is accurate to 0.1 of a degree, okay? And um, 
it goes straight up into your into your shower screen so she's telling you exactly the temperature you're brewing at as well as there's a needle valve there okay and the needle valve is allowing you to replicate an espresso flow okay so once you, you reach your your temperature okay so now the group is running at 85.3 this wasn't set yeah okay so you know it's what it is okay so what you do you want to replicate your espresso so your espresso is about seven seven bar you know what i mean on on, on when it's flowing and the way you replicate your espresso you actually measuring the flow so what you want to do so you're starting your timer you want to replicate about 40 grams in 30 seconds. That's more or less a coffee, okay? So then you're reading what you're actually brewing up while you are making your coffee. Okay, so the machine is showing you now, the brew in the brewing head, you've got 88.1, okay? The flow is more or less correct, like we're not gonna go now and sell it, but more or less correct. So it's telling you exactly what's happening in there. Now we stop this, we get this data, okay? When is this useful? When is this useful? First of all, if you've got different customers in different areas, you're going, okay, what are you brewing up? Mm. Okay. Now let's say you've got in your shop a Lamazocco yeah. and your customer has got a Nova Simonelli. How are you gonna know, and this is very important, how are you gonna know that you're actually brewing your coffee at the same temperature? Yeah. You don't. Okay. Yeah. So the only way to know that you're actually doing the same thing, and that's the biggest thing in coffee is the yeah. temperature. Yeah. All right. The only way to know is by using a tool like this where you can replicate the same thing. So now what I had here was at 88 and it was brewing at that floor. So if my, I've got a Mavan, if my customer has got a Lama Zocco, I'm going to go there and I'm going to set this to be 88, the same floor. Yeah. Then we can t taste the coffee. Yeah. Until we do that, we yeah. can't because we don't know. Yeah, exactly. The machine could say another thing, like this is now saying- Yeah, the group head's 93. Like, something else, yeah. you know what I mean? So what is in the head is important and where is that set? Yeah. Where is that probe? You know what I mean? In a Lama Spoiler. Zocco, it would be in a different place. Yeah. So it'd be different. So the offset is a, is a key thing of coffee. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this is very handy for you as a coffee roaster. There's a coffee technician. And you know what I mean? There's got multiple machines, yeah. multiple stores. You know what I mean? Is is a key. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like even different batches of coffee machine, they might change where the probe is, and then the temperature will be different. You know what I mean? So yeah, that. And then to finish the conversation, we give you a probably a world <laughs> premiere. Yeah, I mean, world exclusive here. Yeah. Exclusive. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> The official one anyway, because there have been a few private ones. <laughs> but we go here, our new... So this is the baskets that we've been doing for a long time. They are Pizarro baskets. We do them in every size. They've been, you know, I mean, a core part of our business. This is our new HE extraction, high extraction basket, okay? So what have we done here? Well, we've worked really hard on making a basket that is steadier, thicker, bigger, and it extracts more. Mm -hmm. So it's got... It's got somehow a way to juicing out more out of your coffee. How do I know that? Okay, well, we've got a TDS machine there, which is testing um, the total dissolved solids in your coffee. So really how thick your coffee is, okay? They are the same size, so they are like a 21 gram basket. So we're gonna put 21 gram on each of them. We run a quick extraction and then we'll test we'll the TDS. All right, so what we're doing now, we're trying the two different baskets, okay? So what I've got, I've got two doses of 21 grams, okay? Uh, we start grinding them up and uh, we make sure that we even out the distribution, the pressure, everything is the same, okay? So we go with the one, it's the same coffee. With the two, I have zero the scale on the quarter filter, <clears throat> so sometimes there's some retention in the grinder. We want to make sure that we got the same amount of coffee. So first of all, I'm going to put the coffee in there. Uh -huh. And we got um, 21.3, so I might just get a tiny bit of that off, just so that we go to the 21. Okay, perfect. All right, now. All right, so we're just gonna work on our distribution. So by the way, this is not our new distribution tool. Yeah. It's got the interchangeable needle. They're actually a bit thinner than the previous one. The previous one was this one here. So we're welding them. Now the new one, we're actually pulling them in and later on I'll show you how to change them as well if they break or lose. But anyway, we make sure that that distribution, especially for this kind of test, I mean, I'm not expecting you, if you've got a busy coffee shop, to do this on each yeah. one coffee. But here, because we actually like, 
testing the coffee, we wanna really, and we wanna do this once, we wanna make sure that that distribution is super even, as well as going with the distribution tool, we use our gravity distributor here, okay, which you know, you know about, we launched it a while ago, it's been very popular, we're very happy with it, and it helps in these kind of scenarios because you don't need to set it, so you just use the gravity to, to, um, to distribute your coffee. Okay, we also wanna go through, we could use the manual grinder, I'm just gonna go with the automatic one just to have something that is super steady, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a shot here. The machine has been preset to extract around 41 grams, okay? Might be a tiny bit more, but a tiny bit less, but we just run with it. That's easy. That looks good, that's that sick. You know what we do? We just let it cool. Yeah, yeah. We know that the purple is the one that we just done. Yep. Now we got to add to the other. Okay, so we clean this up, switch the basket over, put a new basket in, we got a new pesado thing on, put that there. This also show you another thing. This basket is 23 gram heavier than the other one. Right. Uh, so that's just something for you to know that, you know, the frame of the basket is super, super strong. Like it's, uh, this hopefully is the last basket here. So again, we'll triple check that. There might be a little bit more. You see, there's a little bit more. That's because I went to be generous on that because I didn't want to get the coffee out of the freezer again. So there you go. Again, we want to make sure that it's not channeling. And it's looking pretty juicy. Okay, now get a shot of the machine. Maybe go back. It's quite cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So again, you got uh, 40 grams there. Okay, again, it came quick. So yeah. 14 seconds. Right? So both coffees were extracted too quickly. Yeah. So we're not gonna really go now and say this is the best shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. Yeah. But they were both very even. Compare. The same grind, the same everything, okay? So we got the TDS at five. So this is the D fluid, okay? I've been using this for a while. I'm very happy with it, very reliable, very simple. You can pack it and it's just like lithium battery. So, you know, this is the first coffee we made with the older pesado basket. Okay, so what we do, we're gonna put a little bit of coffee there, uh, and we do a reading, okay? What does the reading tell me? The reading tells me the percentage of solids that I've got in that coffee. In this case, it's 10.67, okay? So it means that out of all this liquid, 10.67% of that is solid, okay? Put that back in there, we give this a good clean. We give this a good clean. We we'll make sure there's no cross contamination, okay? Another very important thing is that we always mix the coffee, okay? Because you want to try and get something that is even, okay? Representing everything that is in there. Uh -huh. We'll run the next one. 11.2. Yeah. Now, would you like to have 1% more of your coffee? <laughs> Yes, I would. In your coffee? <laughs> or you want 1% less of your coffee in your coffee? So, yeah, for me, this is a no-brainer, you know, of yeah. where I'm going with coffee. Awesome. Thank you for showing us that. I'm super excited because, yeah, I've always loved Posado equipment from years and years ago. And, yeah, coming on as a distributor now, I just am excited to see where it goes. Mm. So tell us about the journey to Portland. So you're going to showcase it in the first place is in Portland. Yeah. Are you officially launching it? There is that where it's going to be on sale, or is it just no? A we're not selling it. Yeah, no, no, we're okay. totally not selling. Okay, so when are we, we still... talking about selling it? When are these on the market? Ah, uh, look, there's there's a, there's a there's a very sophisticated machining process into this ones, so we are fine tuning that. So it's very hard to give you an exact date. Yeah, you know okay. I mean, it's, it's a very tricky kind of process and to industrialize this it could have many surprises along the way so yeah. i can't really give you a date yet but look we're hoping to be ready you know by middle of the year yeah okay you know what i mean that, Great. that's the aim so around june july yeah, we should yeah, be yeah, yeah. That. But yeah. in portland we've got the finished product this is the finished product we're yeah. just changing a little bit of the looks you know the logos and stuff like that yeah. but she's she's done yeah she's, she's ready, ready you know what i mean so yeah we're looking forward to to start with wonderful this. well yeah. it's very exciting there's lots of other products that are coming out we didn't get to show you all of them today but there's a mm -hmm. Tamping station coming. Tamping station, we, we didn't travel, get to. Travel. Yeah. Oh, yes, with the travel capsules for all of.
of your coffee storage needs. Single dose. That looks exciting. It looks, I just had a look at it. Couldn't show you here because it's still very hush hush, yeah. but it's going to be exciting to see where it comes. I am really excited for this brand, really excited for what you're continuing to do with the innovation in this space, yeah. sort of pushing us into fourth fourth wave coffee now. Yeah. And, um, and I'm super excited. So thanks very much, Andrea, for Thank talking you. with Thank us. Thank you for coming to see us. I'm Ryde, your coffee coach. And as always, enjoy your brew. Thank you.